एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ मसाला चाय एंड चेस विथ निशा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ बिग थैंक यू टू ऑल द सब्सक्राइबर्स देयर हैज बीन अमेजिंग रिस्पांस एंड नाउ वी आर अ फैमिली ऑफ मोर देन 1000 सब्सक्राइबर्स यू नो टुडे इज अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल डे इट्स अ बर्थडे ऑफ नॉट जस्ट वन बट थ्री ग्रैंड मास्टर्स ऑफ इंडिया Pragnananda, Diptayan Ghosh, and Magesh Chandran. Here's wishing our Indian stars a very happy birthday, lots of happiness and success. Let's celebrate their birthday by seeing some spicy games. The first game that I'm going to show to you is of our birthday boy Diptayan Ghosh. Diptayan is a young grandmaster from my city Kolkata. He achieved the grandmaster title at the age of 17. He is a strong tactician. So in this game white is Ziaur Rahman, a strong grandmaster from Bangladesh and black is Diptayan Ghosh. D4 Knight F6 Bishop G5 D5 E3 C6 Bishop D3 Bishop G4 knight e2 knight b d7 and here's a question for all of you can white play c4 in this position think about it while i have my masala chai in this position this innocent looking move c4 is a big blunder and this was played in the game do you know what's the problem with this d into c4 and the point is that here if white plays bishop into c4 i think what the white player missed is that queen a5 is a check and it's an attack to the g5 bishop and the g5 bishop is gone so i guess zia realized here that something is going after bishop into c4 so he took bishop into f6 but here after c into d3 we see two pieces of white are under attack the e2 knight and the f6 bishop so white is just losing a piece if queen into d3 knight into f6 and white is just a piece down so after c into d3 zia just resigned you know such miniature games are very good for us to see our masala chai remains hot till the end of the video but it's really painful for the grandmasters and you know to lose like this but uh, we all make mistakes i have very deep respect for zia he's a very very strong grandmaster but i must say that it's very human to make mistakes and especially it was in the opening stage of the game when we are not ready that some tactics can come you know i can tell you my own case a few days back i was recording one of these videos and I just put the queen in front of opponent's king assuming all the time that the queen was supported by another piece but in fact the queen could just be captured so I realized what a stupid mistake I made much later and then I was like okay I'm human I do make mistake so I have still not edited that video I have kept it for people to see that it's just okay to make mistakes we do it all of us do it and we must accept it that way that okay we are not perfect so yeah this was a miniature win by diptayan but a nice tactical point here that c4 is a mistake and this double attack uh, after bishop c4 queen a5 which was not played in the game but this is a very instructive idea Our next birthday boy is everyone's favorite Pragnananda. This game was played between two prodigies who are now India's pride. 
So white is Pragnananda and black is another star player of India today, Ronak Sadwani. So this was the Asian Under-12 Chess Championship in 2016 and both players were then just 10 years old. This was the same year that I was really obsessed with Prague. So I played a tournament in Cannes in France in 2016 where Prague was also playing. So while writing a report for Chessbase India, all I did was wrote Prague, Prague and Prague. I was so impressed with him. You know what? So he played that tournament. He made his maiden IM norm and he just did not know about it. So last day after the last round and before the prize giving, I spotted him playing blitz with his friends and I was wondering whether he made his norm. So I went to his sister Vaishali and asked her and even she had no clue. So basically, you know, I really liked the approach that all he and his whole family were interested back then is that he should play the best moves on the board. No wonder he's a great player today. So let's see his game, knight f3, Prague is wide and I must tell you that he is the fourth youngest grandmaster in the history of chess. I mean fourth youngest player to achieve the grandmaster title. So knight f3, c5, c4, b6, g3. So we have the English opening on the board, bishop b7, bishop g2, knight f6, castles, g6, knight c3, bishop g7, d4, c into d4, knight into d4, bishop into g2, king into g2, this is all known, queen c8, b3 supporting the c4 pawn, queen b7 check, f3, d5, c into d5, knight into d5, knight into d5, Queen into d5, d4 knight is attacked, so bishop e3. And here Ronak played castles. Uh, Karyakin in this position has played knight c6. Maybe this is slightly better. So castles, rook c1. Queen e5. Queen d3. And here Ronak played rook d8. He's attacking the d4 knight. So this is my masala chai moment. Can you find what 10 year old Prague played at that time? Prague found a fantastic move here. Knight E6. This is such a nice tactical idea. White is giving up the queen, but he has a good idea. Rook d3 was not played because of rook c8, bishop f8, rook f8. So this was the idea. Rook cannot capture the queen. And so you see that this rook is hanging in this position and white is also threatening knight c7 if you move away the rook so black played knight a6 knight into d8 knight b4 queen d7 queen into e3 queen e8 check bishop f8 queen into f7 king h8 Queen F8 checkmate. A fantastic game by 10 year old Prague and this 96 idea is really very pretty. The next game that I'm going to show to you was played in the Hastings Masters this year and the tournament was won by our birthday boy Magesh Chandran. Magesh became a grandmaster in the year 2006 and the list of his achievements is too long. He now lives in the US. His wife Anuprita is also a chess player and an old friend of mine.
So in this game, white is Deep Singh Gupta, another very strong grandmaster from my city Kolkata, and black is Magesh. And you know what? This is the first time in the Masala Chai series that I'm going to show a game played this year. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4, Knight F6, Knight G5. Another uh, very important continuation here is D3. But deep goes for the critical Knight G5, D5, E into D5, Knight A5, Bishop B5, C6, D into C6, B into C6, Bishop E2, H6, Knight H3. So in this line of the two knights, white remains a pawn up, but black has lot of activity and peace play, initiative, etc. So, Bishop C5, D3, castles. Also important to see that black is developed a little bit faster in this line. Castles, Knight B7, Knight C3, Bishop D4. So this is probably the first new move in the game. Earlier, Bishop B6 and Bishop H3. These are the moves which have been tried. So Bishop D4 was played by Magesh. King h1. So white is going to reroute the knight. Knight d6, knight g1. Rook e8, knight a4, knight f5, knight f3, bishop a6. Sometimes in future, maybe sometimes, this kind of move is possible. Knight d4. Queen into d4, attacking the a4 knight. c3, queen d6. Bishop e3, rook a d8. If you look at this position, every piece of black is very, very active. And Magesh does not care for pawns here. So he is giving the a7 pawn. Bishop into a7. Here Magesh played e4. Note that he is not taking bishop into d3. He is two pawns down and he does not want to recover one pawn back. He wants to play for initiative. So e4, d4, bishop into e2. Queen into e2. So if you look at this position, black is two pawns down. But you know, initiative is very important in chess. h5. Bishop c5 attacking the queen. Queen f4. Knight b6. Queen h4. So we see that black is slowly bringing his pieces towards white's king. So here white played king g1, but you need to understand what was black's idea because of which white had to again come back with the king to g1. So for example, suppose white plays rook a d1 here, knight g4, h3, e3, and if white captures, there is knight g3. So we see there is a fork, and this is the reason why king on h1 is not good. So in the game after queen h4, deep played king g1. Rook e6, knight g4 was another idea. Knight c4, knight d5 and g3 was played. Queen h3, if you look at this position, white, black is threatening. Knight f4 and if white takes here, then rook g6 and queen g2 mate. And knight f4 is threatening both knight into e2 and queen g2. So, seeing this, white played king h1. And it's interesting how white's king is going back and forth like a pendulum from king h1 to g1, g1 to h1. 
एच फोर रुक जी वन रुक एच सिक्स सो ब्लैक इज थ्रेटनिंग एच इन टू जी थ्री एंड सम प्रेशर ऑन एच टू दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर वाइट स्किंग सो दर इट कुड बी एच जी थ्री नाइट जी थ्री आइडियाज एंड सम प्रॉब्लम आई नॉट टेल द डिटेल नाउ बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट यू टू फाइंड आउट सो हियर वाइट प्लेट क्वीन एफ वन एंड वाइट वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सचेंज क्वींस नॉट दिस इज माई मसाला चाय मोमेंट आई सिप माई लास्ट बिट ऑफ मसाला चाय वाई यू फाइंड the next move of black how did magesh finish off the game in style well done if you found the last move of the game queen h2 white resigned as white is getting checkmated king into h2 h into g3 king g2 rook h2 checkmate what a wonderful way to finish off a game i hope you all liked this birthday special episode of our indian stars let's wish our grandmasters pragnananda diptayan and magesh a very happy birthday lots of happiness and success in their lives before you go don't forget to put a thumbs up to this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and yes i'm